Good morning, everybody. Today's gonna be a beautiful day. I'm just so excited. I don't wanna fucking do it today. I just, I'm just not 100% into it. Today, we're gonna be talking about how to not have a shitty day. Yes, because here's what you have to realize. Sometimes you wake up and you're just not feeling it. One of the things that I think is the biggest misconceptions about me is that people think just because I'm the motivational guy or I'm the mindset guy, that I don't wake up and not feel 100%. They think I just wake up, I jump out of bed, and I'm like, hey, good morning, everybody. Today's gonna be a beautiful day. I'm just so excited. No, there's some days where I'm like, well, I don't wanna fucking do it today. I just, I'm just not 100% into it. And usually I take some steps to actually get myself out of that rut. One of the worst things you could do is not feel good when you wake up. Maybe you didn't have enough sleep. Maybe you didn't sleep right. Maybe you ate before you went to bed. You didn't get some really good sleep because you were digesting. Who knows what happened? Maybe there's a rainstorm. Maybe your kids were up, whatever it was. And you wake up and you're not feeling 100%. That is called being a human. But if you go through the entire day not feeling good, well, then there's some steps that you should have taken along the way to make yourself feel better. So today we're gonna to talk about if you wake up and you feel like shit, how can you pull yourself out of that feeling of feeling like shit so that you can still make a positive day out of something that didn't start off the best, if we're being honest. And uh, if you happen to hear a lot of reflection today, I am in my living room of my new house. We haven't fully built the studio yet, so I apologize. There's gonna be a little bit of reflection that you're gonna hear, but that's just the sound of my living room. If you're watching on Instagram, Facebook, all of those things, you can actually see my living room. How amazing. So for those of you guys that are on the podcast and you're just listening away, you can go ahead and go to my Instagram or Facebook and actually see what it looks like if you'd like. Come on into my living room. Uh, but one thing you have to realize is that we're all on this this journey of self-development. We're on this journey of transitioning from who we have been to who we want to be. And sometimes when you're going through this transition, old habits die hard. And you might not feel 100%. You might feel like you're releasing parts of yourself that you've identified with for years. And that can be uncomfortable and there can be resistance around that. You might notice that some of the people that you've known for a long time, you're releasing them as well because they're not helping you with becoming the best version of yourself. Maybe they're holding you back from it, or maybe they just don't vibe with you anymore. So through this transition of where you are to where you want to be, you might have to release old versions of yourself. There might be resistance with that. And with that resistance, you might not feel 100% every single day. So what we're gonna talk about is how to make yourself feel better every single day. A couple of things you need to think about as you're diving into this. If you wake up and you don't feel 100% or if you're an hour into the day or two hours a day and you're just like, oh, I don't know what it is, I'm not feeling it. The first thing I always go back to is how much sleep did you get? How did you sleep, right? Did you go to bed late last night? Did you eat a really big meal before you went to bed last night? Did you wake up a bunch of times? Did you, you know, have a rainstorm that woke you up a bunch of times? What was it throughout your day, or I'm sorry, through your night that could have held you back from getting the most rest that you needed or the best rest that you needed? Maybe you did get eight hours of sleep, but you were just up all night and you were waking up or you were moving around or, you know, the kids were up late last night, whatever it was. Think about that first off. Did you wake up and have enough sleep? That's the first thing I always go back to when I don't have the best feeling when I wake up in the morning or when I'm a couple hours into my day. Second thing I want you to think about after that is did you take time for yourself this morning? Mm. If you didn't take time for yourself and you don't feel 100%, that could be the reason why, is because you haven't even had time to be yourself. One of the things that's super interesting about parents is that a lot of parents have lost themselves in being a parent. Now, being a parent's a beautiful thing, but you also have to be your own sovereign being. You have to be yourself. You can't just identify as parent. You can't identify yourself as mother or just father. No, you're also another person outside of that. Did you take time for yourself this morning? Did you read? Did you meditate? Even if it's just going out on your back porch, drinking some coffee and watching the sunrise in some peace. Did you take that time for yourself? Or did you just immediately wake up because the kids were crying and then you immediately went to everything? Do you need to start waking up earlier so that you do get your own time for yourself, so that you can be your own sovereign being, so that you can read, so that you can meditate, so that you can journal? If you're a parent, beautiful, amazing, but also you are your own human. Take some time for yourself. You will feel better if you take some time for yourself. So that's the second thing that I dive into is, did you take time for yourself? Did you meditate? Did you read? Did you journal? Next thing I wanna think about, so I thought about a couple things so far. I thought about my sleep, 
Maybe that affects how I feel. It does. I thought about if I took time for myself, the next thing I think about is what has my nutrition been like so far today? What is my nutrition like? You know, did I not eat yet today? Well, if you, if you didn't eat, your blood sugar could be really low. And that for me tends to be the thing that I notice if I'm not feeling really well, I'm like, oh my God, of course, I forgot to eat breakfast. I forgot to eat lunch. All I've had today was coffee. Of course, I'm not going to feel good if all I had today was coffee. So what's your nutrition look like? Did you have a burger for lunch and now you're feeling like crap? Did you have something really sugary? So what's your nutrition looking like? Did you have too much sugar? Did you have too much grease? Are you drinking enough water? I bet 99% of people listening to this podcast right now could just fix 99% of their problems if they just drank more water. That's it. Not fancy, not have to do anything else. Just drink more water. Why? Because you are made up of 70% water. If you're made up of 70% water and you're not drinking enough of it, of course, it's going to affect the way that you feel. Your body is more toxic than it needs to be because your lack of drinking water. So another thing to think about. Next thing I think about is this. How much movement have I had today? Have I been sitting in the same place? Have I been really stagnant today? Get your ass up and get moving. Do some push-ups, do some jumping jacks, do some breathing exercises. Literally go online, go onto YouTube and look up breathing exercises. Do some breath work. That'll immediately get you out of the state that you're in. Get your body moving. If you've been stagnant today, and I use the word stagnant on purpose, is because when I think of the word stagnant, I think of like a, a stagnant puddle of water, like a stagnant pond that has like mold growing on it. It's got a bunch of flies around it. That's what I think of when I think the word stagnant. That's why I say stagnant for you. Is your, uh, you know, are your muscles feeling stagnant? Are your bones, are your joints feeling stagnant? Get up, motion is lotion. That's what one of my, uh, one of my physical therapists used to say. If you feel tight, if your muscles feel tight, if your, jo jo if your bones, if your joints, all those things feel tight, motion is lotion. Move, because the more that you move, the more that your body will start to, you know, actually lube up the joints, lube up the muscles, get them moving. You're a human, you are meant to be moving. You're not meant to sit at your computer all day. So if you don't feel 100%, I've got a question for you. How much moving have you done today? Can you get some movement in every single hour? Even if it's just a quick three minutes of yoga, three minutes of breath work, three minutes of jumping jacks and pushups, whatever it is to get your body moving. If you think 100,000 years ago, back to our ancestors, they weren't just sitting around all day. They were constantly doing things. They were going on a hunt. They were going and they were looking for food. They were taking care of the kids. They were going to get water. They were doing everything around the tribe that needed to be done. That means that they are used to moving. You need to get better at moving and it will make you feel better. Motion, or motion creates emotion. If you're not feeling good, put some motion into your life. You'll get more emotion and you'll start to feel better. Now what I think about is this. This is one of my super secret sauces right here. Ready? If I don't feel a hundred percent, I have a happy playlist on my Spotify. I literally have a group of songs that I listen to that pull me out and make me feel better. So I'm gonna go ahead and everybody, I'm gonna give you my secret sauce. This is my happy playlist. I'll play it in the morning. I usually play it when I'm hopping in the shower. So I listen to it and it's over and over and it just makes me feel good. If I notice that I don't feel 100% for the day, I'm going to listen to this playlist because I've basically brainwashed myself through years of listening to this playlist to get myself out of a rut to make me feel good. Like this is just a feel good playlist. Here we go. You ready for my secret sauce? You can go ahead and steal it if you want. Song number one, Happy by Pharrell. I listen to it. And then I make myself dance to it. I make myself move. Motion creates emotion. You know, motion is lotion. Get it. I can give you a bunch of different phrases if you want to. Get your body moving. So, Happy by Pharrell. Try not to dance when you listen to it. Next song, Don't Worry, Be Happy. Right? How can you not listen to that? How can you listen to that song and not feel good? Right? Next song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. The one with the, uh, the ukulele by Iz, Izzy, I think is what his nickname is. Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Makes me feel really good. Beautiful song. Next song, Sunday Best by a, a band called Surfaces. They're kind of a new one, but you know, they have a bunch of really good songs that make you feel really good. Next, next song, Wonderful World. Put that one on. 
what a wonderful world. And I listen to it, I'm like, oh yeah, my things I'm worrying about, the things that I feel, they don't really matter. It is wonderful. Life is wonderful. And the last one is a song that you may have never heard of. It's by a guy named Trevor Holland. It's called Everything I Need. So literally, I have a playlist because if I sing words, if you've ever heard of an affirmation, an affirmation is something that you say outside, like I am powerful, I am beautiful, I am amazing, I am working hard every day to become the best version of myself. That's an affirmation. If I'm singing words outside of myself, then I'm basically affirming them with motion, which is called an incantation. So these are affirmations and incantations. You know, if I'm saying because I'm happy and I'm going through and I'm talking about this and I'm saying it out loud, well then of course I'm gonna start to feel happier. If I'm singing, don't worry, be happy, I'm gonna talk myself into stop worrying into being happy. If I'm gonna sing, you know, somewhere over the rainbow, I'm gonna start to feel better. If I'm gonna sing, what a wonderful world, I'm gonna start to think about, oh my God, what a wonderful world I live in. What about all of these things I'm worrying about? Doesn't matter. None of those things matter. I have a playlist, I literally have a playlist that makes me feel good. I read it, or I, I play it every morning and I also play it when I don't feel good. I'm trying to brainwash myself through music to feeling better. Right? We're vibratory beings. If you were to zoom in on us, we are vibrating at all points in time. Everything that you see around you is vibrating. Music is vibration. Light is vibration. All of those things are vibrations. So if I'm having music come into my body, into my eardrums, and feeling those vibrations, it's going to shift my vibratory structure as a human. Make me feel better. Okay? That's my secret sauce. I've got another one for you. Let's go ahead and think about the people that you are around. Ooh, okay. If you don't feel good, when was the last time you looked at somebody else that's around you? Who have you been hanging out with today? If you don't feel good today, if you're having a shitty day, who have you been hanging out with today? Maybe you need to start to reassess the people that you're around. You know, how are they? How do they talk? How do they, is being around them make you feel good? Are they a positive person or are they a negative person? Hmm, if you're around a lot of negative people, how can you not feel negative? You've got to think about that. Can you get around a positive person today? Can you get around any positive people, more than one positive person? Who around you would make you feel better? Can you call up a friend to make you feel better? Can you call up a friend and have them come over to your house to make you feel better? Hang out with them. Go do an activity with them. Go out and get some coffee. How can you get away from negative people and how can you get around positive people that make you want to be better? This will shift the way that you feel. All too often, people don't look at the people that they're around and hang out with and think to themselves, is this person affecting how I feel? So if I'm having a shitty day, I should look at the people that are around me and think to myself, is this somebody that I need to uh, possibly not hang out with today? Is there someone else that I can get to come hang out with me that would make me feel better about myself? That would make me think about how amazing my life actually is? It would make me start to think about all the things I could be grateful for, right? Can I get around more positive people? If I can't, can I get around somebody virtually? Is there a podcast that I should listen to? Is there an audiobook that I can listen to? Are there people on YouTube that I can listen to that make me feel better about myself? That make me feel better about my situation? That give me some vision as to where I'm going in life? And literally go, oh, that's a great idea. Maybe I should do that. That makes me feel better. Maybe I should do that. If I can't physically get around people who motivate me, because maybe I live in a part of town where there's not a lot of people that motivate me. Maybe I'm from a bad part of town or maybe I'm from a tiny town where there's not a whole lot of people that make me feel good. Can I virtually get close to those people? Can I start to get around those people and listen to them and have them start to influence how I feel? Right, so start to think about that. Now let's dive into your internal and your external environment. If I don't feel really good, all right, let's, take a, let's self assess my internal environment real quick. How are you talking to yourself today? How do you talk to yourself on a positive, or I'm sorry, on, on a, a typical daily basis? Is it positive? Is it negative? You know, when something happens to you, how have you been reacting to it today? How have you been talking to yourself about the thing that happened to you today? Are you making it seem a lot worse than it is? You know, are you talking down to yourself? How have you been thinking about your current life circumstances? These are things to think about. If I don't feel 100%, I want to think about my internal world and what I'm doing about it. Am I helping myself or am I hurting myself based off of the thoughts that I'm having about my current circumstances and events that are happening in my life? So that's my internal environment. Let's go external environment now, okay? The room that you're currently in, the car that you're currently in, wherever you currently are, 
What does it look like? Is it trashed? Is there shit all over the place? Well, if there's shit all over the place, you're probably gonna feel shitty, right? So could you clean your room? Would that make you feel better? Can you clean your house? Are you in a pigsty, right? Dirty house, dirty mind. That's usually the way it works. If your house is cluttered, your mind is usually cluttered, right? So what does your house look like? Okay. What about external environment? What about your body? Oh, how's your body doing? Have you showered today? It's funny how a simple shower can make you feel different. If you want to really shift your state, take an ice cold shower. Put on my happy playlist and put on a cold shower and it's near impossible to not feel 100% better after. A cold shower will wake you up and take you out of all of the BS that you currently are putting inside of your head, currently thinking, holding yourself back, everything, and it will wake you up, invigorate you, and make you feel better, number one. And then number two, if you have that playlist going, it's like double brainwashing to make you feel better. So you can take a warm shower if you want to, but my tip would be take a really, really cold shower. And people always ask me the next question, how long should my shower be? Uh, the length of a normal shower. People are like, should I make, should I take a 30 second cold shower? No, dude, if your normal shower is seven minutes, take a seven minute cold shower, wake up. It will make you feel better. It's not fun, but when you get done, you're like, holy crap, I feel a hundred times better. So what about your external environment is going on? All right, next thing, who's around you? We talked about a minute ago, but just quickly look around and see who's been around you today. Who have you come in contact with? Did you wake up and immediately get hit with a text message from your mom about the next freaking catastrophe that's about to happen in the world? Did you wake up and happen to go onto Facebook and see about all of the other stuff that's happening with politics or whatever's going on in this world? Think about your external environment, what you're putting into your head, what you're putting into your body, what you're putting into your mind. All of those things affect you. The same way that if you eat a really greasy hamburger, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel like crap later on down the road. You're gonna not be working at 100%. If you just feed your mind with a whole bunch of crappy, greasy hamburgers, like negative people, like negative news, like social media negativity and people yelling back and forth at each other like the four-year-old children on the playground, all of those things are gonna be eating like, like eating a, a dirty, greasy hamburger. It's going to affect you and your mind and your body the same way that it would if you ate something really greasy, massive greasy meal. It's not going to make you run at 100%. What externally are you surrounding yourself with and what externally are you then putting into your body? These are super important things to think about. In the last resort, another secret sauce, if you just try all of these and none of these things make you feel better, here's the last resort. Do something for somebody else. It's a secret. One crazy thing is no matter how bad I feel, when I immediately feel not 100% and I'm not allowed to, I'm not my, I'm just, I'm stuck in it. I'm trying to get myself out. I'm trying to get myself, I'm trying to get myself out. I will go do something for someone else. I'll go to, you know, get some food. I'll drop off to a homeless person. I'll give them some money. I'll find out what I can do for someone else. I'll, you know, figure out what I can do to help somebody else out. Even if it's just go to Starbucks, get a coffee and buy the coffee for the person behind me. Doing something for someone else, for some reason, I don't understand what it is inside of humans, but it always fixes whatever the issue is. If you can't get yourself out of not feeling 100% and you want to feel better, go do something for someone else. It will make you feel light years ahead of where you currently are. So that's the secret. You're not gonna wake up 100% every single day. It's just not gonna happen. Nobody wakes up 100% every single day. But there are strategies to assess why you feel the way that you feel and then to get yourself out of it. So anytime that you have a shitty day, listen to this episode. If you have a friend that, that has a lot of shitty days, send them this episode. If you have a lot of friends on social media that have shitty days, Share this on your Instagram so that people can see it and get themselves out of having their shitty day. You'd be surprised at how many people follow you right now that need to hear this episode. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you wanna learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. You are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. You need to start paying really close attention to who the people are that you're hanging around with and how they affect your internal environment.